requires communication is most wonderful. That things should be able to pass from the plane of external pushing and pulling to that of revealing themselves to man and thereby to themselves, and that the fruit of communication should be participation, sharing, is a wonder by the side of which transubstantiation pales. Events turn into objects, things have a meaning. In addition to their original existence, they are subject to ideal experimentation. Their meanings may be infinitely combined and rearranged in imagination. Meanings have been deflected from the rapid and roaring stream of events into a calm and traversable canal, rejoin the main stream and color, temper, and compose its course. He was a rather circuitous writer, but basically I love the idea that, that they become things with a meaning. Uh, so why not? I'll read the... Uh, the name of my thesis back in my MFA was The Great American Philosopher Goes Fishing, which I had to kind of fight for because people say, well, well, John Dewey's just a great American philosopher. And I thought, look, it's my poem. <laughs> so, The Great American Philosopher Goes Fishing. With anticipation, he fords that string, knee-deep in the weave of competing currents. He remembers how it works, or thinks he does. Water's beginning in that diamond-sharp Vermont ice that sliced mind from body. The heavy wool of his forefathers clings about his unsteady legs, and as if to pluck words, he bends towards the water, no fisherman, but knowing something of fishing, and spots a catfish, bottom feeder, silver and silver water. It's a simple thing to catch a fish, but what if one sees oneself, a reflection of one's own deep eyes, dancing across the surface, skating on light and molecules, he forgets what he is doing and stops to observe the refraction of his own flesh as his hand pauses half submerged. It is just a hand like any other human hand, but here it is, broken in half, the truth obscured by such clear cold water. I must make a note of this, he murmurs, fumbling for a pencil, finding only a fish that has somehow slipped into his pocket.